and say let me add one to the power and we get four and then divide it by the new power and say that's one over four sine to the fourth power x plus c this right here is incorrect how would i integrate this for number two i know the trick identities are unfolded but i got stuck and most of my notes are not helping okay let's have a look we are integrating sine to the third power x so when we are integrating trick functions there are strategies that we can follow and let me just tell you the ones that we will do when we have sine cosine being involved so right here here's the deal if we have an integral and if we can somehow see a sine x factor on the outside then this is what you wish to have we wish to have an easy enough expression so i'll just write down an expression hopefully it's easy enough but we wanted to make sure that it's in terms of cosine x and the reason is because this way we can proceed by letting cosine x to be the u so I'll just say let u equal to cosine x and why would you do that? well because after we differentiate both sides we get du being equal to negative sine x dx and we happen to have that co uh, sine we happen to have that sine x factor on the outside to help us out right to cancel things out but we have a negative just be careful with that similarly if we have an integral and if on the outside you see we have a cosine factor then in that case here we wish to have an easy enough expression yeah but this time we want it to be in terms of sine x because this way we can proceed by saying that u equal to sine x and then du taking the derivative right here we get precisely cosine x dx and that's right here waiting for us to use so that is the strategy for this one this strategy works nicely when we have sine cosine to an odd power okay so firstly following this strategy maybe i want to put one of the sine x factor out yeah so we are looking at integral break this down as sine square x times sine x so we have this now that means right here we wish to have expression in terms of cosine x so we're looking at this part right here can we rewrite that in terms of cosine x well it looks like we have two choices right because i'll just put a little note right here we know that sine square x this right here can be written as one half times one minus cosine of two x the double angle or the half angle identity depends on how you look at it but this is not the one we want to use because we want to have cosine x not cosine two x so what do we do well there's another one of course sine square x equals one minus cosine square x because we have the Pythagorean identity and this works wonder because right here this means we have one minus cosine x and then to the second power this is what i mean by an expression in terms of cosine x the second power you know we can it's easy enough i'll say that being said right here let's go ahead and write down this as the integral here let's replace that with one minus cosine square x for that and then times sine x dx once we have that is <laughs> that's exactly what we're doing right here go ahead and do a use up put u equal to cosine to the first power right cosine to the first power cosine to the first power and then differentiating both sides we get du equal to negative sine x dx let's go ahead and depends how you want to do it you can multiply a negative here and then a negative on the outside and then call that to be du that's fine or you can isolate the dx and then cancel out the sine x i think i will do that because i think the cancellation can make it more clear so let me divide the negative sine x on both sides so i have the dx here 
that would be equal to du over negative sin x. Now, take this integral from the x world to the u world. We will get the integral. 1 is 1 minus cosine square x means what? Remember, it means cosine x and then squared. And the cosine x is our u. So that will be u squared, like that. And then we have the, this sign x here. But don't worry, because dx is du over negative sign x. Aha! We can cancel, cancel. Aha! Right? So now, let's first put a negative on the outside. And we are going to get the negative integral. And then we are just looking at 1 minus u squared du. Right here, we can just integrate it. And be careful though. First, let's put on a negative and put on a parenthesis for the result of the integration. We are integrating 1, but in the u world. So the result right here is u. It's not x, it's u, because we are in the u world. And then to integrate this, add 1 to the power, which you get 3, divided by the new power, we have 1 third. So minus 1 third, and then u to the third power. So we're done with the integration, and some people will tell you, hey, put down the plus e already, or you can just put down the plus e at the very end. Right? In my opinion, that, that works okay. But finally though, we'll just have to go back to the x world. So distribute the negative right here, so we get uh, negative, and let me just put down the negative here, and then u is cosine x, and of course, negative times negative is positive, one third, u is cosine x, but let's put the third power right here, and then x. And at the very end, put down the plus c. This right here will do it. Yeah, this right here will do it. That's it. Before I go though, I would like to tell you, do not do the following. When we have an integral of sine to the third power x dx, do not just look at this as a power case and say, let me add 1 to the power and we get 4 and then divide it by the new power and say that's 1 over 4 sine to the 4th power x plus c. This right here is incorrect. Why? Because if you differentiate this, you do not get this back. Let me show you real quick. If we differentiate that 1 over 4, sine to the 4th power means sine x to the 4th power, yeah? Okay, this is just a constant multiple, right? don't worry, let's just put a 4 to the front. 1 over 4 times 4 is just 1, I almost wanted to say 0, I don't know why. So it's just 1, but then we have to minus 1 for the power. So it looks like we have sine x and then raised to the third power, right? But no, because remember when we take the derivative, we will have to use the chain rule. The derivative of sine x is positive cosine x. However, originally, we did not have cosine x factor. So this right here, it's not the answer. Don't do that. For more integration practice, definitely check out my ultimate integral starter video right over there.